Hello YouTube, so right now I'm going to make a tutorial on how you can find the vertex of a parabola. So finding the vertex of the parabola, you have to do uh, completing the square on the equation. And so it'll look like this. So you would have a normal parabola, parabolic function. Uh, for example, x squared plus 4x plus 4. Alright? So if we plot this, it'll turn out like that. Now what you would want to do is you would complete the square in such a way that would be the exact same equation. So we have this equation and we find out that it is the exact same. So this expression equals the previous x squared x squared plus 4x four plus 4. So the purpose of this is you're taking out the x squared in order to leave a single x hence completing the square and then plus 2 squared so as you may or may not know when you open the brackets the end equation will be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and once we have this if we would expand this equation it would become x squared plus 4x plus 4 alright and now, since we have this, you do, in, do it in such a way that y would equal to 0. So, in order for y to equal to 0, x has to be negative 2. Because negative 2 plus 2 is equal to 0, and 0 squared is 0. So, therefore, I know that x is negative 2, and then y becomes 0. Let's have an example of x squared plus 6x plus 9. Alright? So, in this example, let's plot it. It turns out to come over here. In order to find the vertex of the parabola, you do x plus 3 squared. It comes out right here, but now, the equation, in order to make y equal 0, x has to be negative 3, because negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, let's say we have x to the power of 2 plus 4x plus 5. What do you do? Because now you can't have a perfect square. So you would have to do x plus 2 squared plus 1. And now this plus 1, when you do x equals negative 2, y equals 1, and the equation would get pushed up to y equals 1. So we come back to the original equation. It's here. And then you automatically know where the vertex of the parabola is. Thank you for watching this tutorial.